Hello and welcome to In the Know with Wolfpack Athletics. From interviews with student athletes, coaches, staff and alumni, we will cover the latest in Loyola Athletics and look back to the history of the Wolfpack. Get ready for an insider's look. So let's get in the know. Now we're going to go back in time. Here with us to take that trip is Ramon Vargas. Besides being an award-winning journalist and Loyola grad, Ramon serves as our historian for the Loyola Hall of Fame. Ramon, thanks for being here with us. Gears on you a little bit because you talked about like the history of what went on, where our residence halls are. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now so, yeah. it's correct. Um, the Ford Pass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? Of course, is, right. Is right, the right, Ford yeah. Pass invented? That well, I mean, it's a, there's in a the very good. Squad? There's a very good, very good point. Uh, you know, there's there's a very good argument to be made there. Um, so that's where the so where I guess the residence halls is the yeah. <laughs> the, the residence the the rest quad. quad yeah the rest quad there um, is where a, a a football stadium used to be I mean two decks you know to kind of two sides of uh, um, and uh, and so I'm trying to so like imagine like where uh, I guess Beaver and then I, they used to call it new <laughs> the new Carrollton uh, Carroll Carrollton yeah uh, no no yeah yeah Carroll uh, so like those are kind of where the stands are right and so right. the field is just kind of like right in front of that. Um, and so, uh, there was a, uh, football coach in the, in the twenties named Clark Shaughnessy who, um, would go on to, <laughs> he would go on to, you know, coach, you know, Stanford and, um, and he would go on to coach, um, in, in the NFL, uh, early, early days of the NFL, college football hall of fame inductee. Uh, his big contribution was, you know, the, this idea that like the guy that was, you know, who would take the ball from the snap and then. A lot of, you know, you're talking about Veer and right. kind of T-Bone, stuff All like right. that back in those days. Um, but that, like, that, you know, that you would take advantage of the fact that that guy could throw the ball, you know, forward behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, and so he, he really made, um, he really kind of started, like, the whole idea of, like, having guys, like, run pass routes and then, you know, passing it forward and stuff like that. And just hammering it out right right, right there, right in the, uh, where, I guess, uh, there's a field there. I, I know people lounge there, play Frisbee, soccer, right. et cetera. Um, and uh, and so the sidelines would be a lot of the times like if you're walking in front of Beaver, right? So that's kind of where the football team would huddle, and then so that in that field, that's probably he's like that's where they're practicing and yeah. playing and stuff like that. And so he was fine tuning a, a play that we see, you know, in any game, sixty times a, sixty times a game uh, in the NFL or in college football or high school football that we see. Um, that's that was very good argument you could make that it was invented invented yeah. over here. It's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Um, so football loyal is. Uh, history in football yeah. people may not realize we do have we did have a football team way back when yeah. and potentially the forward pass was invented in the res quad yeah we did have an undefeated football team back in the 20s Can you yeah, uh, yeah 19 uh, 1926 most of it um all, you know a lot of a lot of guys uh, and and obviously the coach but but the the story of the of that season was uh the uh the quarterback william elton uh bucky moore um and he was a uh Guy from Mississippi, um, yeah, from Macomb, Mississippi, and uh, later became a sheriff, and uh, also just had like a sub super interesting life. Another one of these kind of larger than life characters. But while he was here, he used to um, he he broke the single season uh, yardage record. Uh, so you're talking about passes and and, and running um, that uh, Harold uh, Harold Grange, Red Grange, um, mm -hmm. Chicago Bears legend, um, that he that he had set uh, before then. And so I, th I mean, he led the country in in uh, in, in uh, total yardage and um, just uh, unbelievable. I mean, you would see they they it was it was a little strange because it's it's not like you know it's not like where you play four home games and travel to four home games and then you you uh, make the conference title game and then you play a bowl. You know, uh, they're they're playing a little bit of a different schedule. So uh, they had like an all home game. They had like an all home game schedule that year, right? But um, but they won undefeated and uh, and and were you know the most potent offense in in the country. Then I mean, obviously they're not playing. Um, you know, they're not playing like Big Ten schools, SEC schools. They're not playing. But uh, but they are. I mean, you know, the the opponents that they are that they are playing, they're clobbering them, absolutely clobbering them, and and a lot of it had to do with uh, with Bucky Moore, who would have been kind of one of your first, uh, you know, your first kind of dual threat uh, dual threat quarterback, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, these days you talk about like mobile, big arm, he could throw it, you know, he'd run a lot and he was very hard to stop. And, um, and so it wouldn't be rare to see him, you know, these like crazy, like Pat Mahomes like stats, right? Where he right. threw three touchdowns and rushed for two or he, or vice versa, you know? So, uh, absolutely. I mean, and that was, that was a lot of, um, so no, I, I mean, again, I, I didn't, Way before all of our times, but even just reading about it, um, it, it just seemed like it would have been such a fun, uh, fun time to be around. Just imagine going to, um, you know, football games right on campus, right here, right, right, <laughs> you right. know, just a, right. across the, uh, um, closer to Ferret, um, right. and uh, just the, the thought of that. And you'd see, I mean, just you're talking about like twelve thousand. You know, I mean, it's a pretty small stadium. But you're talking about just like twelve thousand people, um, and and playing like here, not going to, uh, you know, I guess Tulane now has mm -hmm. their uh, has their football stadium, and so, but for for a long time, for a whole generation, there like the idea of like uptown on campus uh, football. Um, you know, you, you can kind of get a taste of it next door, but it used to be right here. Right, right. So I'm going to put you on the spot here mm -hmm. too when it comes to Loyola football. Sure. Uh, President Tetlow's grandfather played yeah. football here at Loyola. Sure. Was he good? He was. He was. Um, he he was. He, it's. I, I'm not entirely sure exactly what team he might have been on. Uh, he mm. might have been on some of those. I think he was uh, on one of the last ones, like the so 28 the, or 29. Okay. 28. So like early, I think. So you're talking about like the late 20s. Um, yeah. So so he might. I mean, so the, the season we're talking about is 1926, right? So he's like a couple of years after right. that. But uh, but no, definitely. Uh, I. Uh, she d I, I, all I think about is that jersey. I don't know if they still have that shirt, the undefeated, you know, loyal right. football undefeated since right. like 1932 or whatever. So right. he would he would have caught some of the some of the end of right. that. No, I mean they were they were uh, they were good. I mean there is a football team in there that beat that beat uh, the defending national the current defending national champion who right. has taken a bit of a bit of a fall at the moment. But right. um, but they uh, you know there is a, there is in the record books you will find a uh, a Loyola victory over. Uh, over LSU, which um, sounds unbelievable, but um, but it happened. It's yeah. in uh, it's in the papers. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this week's In the Know. We hope you enjoyed this insider look. Join us every week as we dive in today's news and back into the history of Loyola Athletics.